So far, the indices and metals both traded bullish throughout the day. In fact, Dow Jones has seen 34,200 levels and US 100 has seen 11,770 levels. So now what to expect? Yes, but the gold is struggling at 17,88. So what to expect when the US inflation is going to get released in next one hour or so? Which position we should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profit. So do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do press the bell icon. Let's start. First, we'll look into gold followed with Nasdaq 100 and towards the end Dow Jones. Do watch till the end. Do listen to it carefully. Do note down the levels and trade as per the levels. Now, these are the hourly charts for gold. And on the hourly charts, I will be waiting for it to break past 1790 levels which is definitely going to be a little stronger resistance yes right now it is trying to struggle at 1788-89 and then i think it is going to break past 1790-1792 zone and possibly we may see it hitting 1795 again which is definitely a very strong resistance now on the early charts if you also see see uh it is formed higher lows and it is trying to trade bullish from here. I'll wait for it to break past this zone certainly for it to continue with the bullish momentum. On the downside as I have always maintained I have told you in the morning analysis also only below 1780 I will confirm this as little bearish else till the time it trades above 1780 one can remain long. Now look at the direction movement is moderately bullish the stochastic is looking upwards the MACD is bullish and the RSI is also trading with slight bullish bias here. And if you look at the two hour charts now, look at the two hour charts here. See previous three candles, lower highs, lower lows. And this candle is trying to break out. So once it trades past this zone at 1790, certainly it will call on for the bulls. And then we can expect it to hit 1795, 1800. And in fact, this time it can break past 1800. Also, it may show you very strong bullish momentum if it carry forwards and trades above 7, 1800 levels. So yes. Above 1790, we can look forward to a buy position 1795 level. Certainly, we have stronger resistance and then 1800 to be seen. Beyond that, it is going to fly high and strong. Directional movement moderately bullish. A stochastic near to the overbought levels. The MACD on the two hour charts is crossing over for a buy. This is the first green candle. We can see follow up green candles from here. RSI trading flat. And if you look at the three hour chart, now look at the 3 hour charts, previous 2 candles lower highs, lower lows, this time it is trying to break out and possibly this breakout can be strong enough for it to trade past 1790-1795 1790, and in fact we can see further bullishness from there. On the downside you have to ensure that till the time it trades, see this is trying to trade in this channel, certainly 1790 be a little stronger resistance but at the same time on the downside you have to ensure that till the time it trades above 1780 because below 1780 we may see a little drop which might bring it till towards 1774, 1770 and in fact it can break below 1760 if it continues to trade on the downside. See news base momentum can bring it a little down however uh, possibility of it to move bullish, possibility of it to trade bullish exists strong. Directional movement moderately bullish, stochastic looking upwards and the MACD is trying to converge crossover for a bullish move. Right now it is trading in red and if you look at the RSI this is also trading with slight bullish bias. It is not yet confirmed, it is not yet completely taken a slope which is strongly bullish. Now look at the 4 hour charts, on the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts look at previous two candles uh, and uh, you can see the previous candle was almost certainly with the very smaller body out here but this time it is trying to breach on the upside certainly once it trades beyond 1790 we can expect further more bullish momentum so this is what we can see same observation what we saw on the other time frames 1795 is stronger resistance than 1800 1801 and then beyond that it is going to fly further on the downside you have to ensure that till the time it trades above 1780 you can stay long only below 1780 little more bearishness to be seen directional movement moderately bullish stochastic looking upwards the MACD is trying to converge here crossover for a bullish move right now it is trading bearish RSI is trading flat and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts here see on the daily charts you observe that lower highs higher lows 1800 levels certainly be going to be a stronger resistance and on the upside so at 1795 so these two levels once it breaks past we can expect that it is going to fly also on the downside 1780 we will wait for it to break past so that it can trade bearish from there it is moderately bullish stochastic is looking downwards the MACD 
is divergent and bearish on the daily chart that is one observation that is a critical observation here and rsi trading flat considering this for the day i will not recommend you to sell gold till the time it trades above 1780 and in fact below 1780 probably 1774 and 1770 are going to provide a very strong support only below 1770 we can expect further bearishness which might take it till towards 1764 1760 and then 1750 40 level 1740 60 is a very very strong support zone on the downside and remember on the upside 1795 1800 if these two levels are taken certainly it is going to fly high for 1805 1808 1812 1812 and then 18 18 24 30 36 50 levels can be seen if not today possibly soon we may see those levels if it trades above 1800 sustains above 1800 certainly the bulls may prevail now this is for gold take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at nasdaq 100 now look at nasdaq 100 11 700 has provided it a very strong support Yesterday I told you once it trades above 11.620 we can expect 11.660, 11.710. So with the support at 11.710 it is trying to rise on the upside and see this is giving a breakout here as it was it consolidated here on the early charts for a little while and now trying to trade bullish from here. You can certainly see the acceleration or the momentum has changed. It is looking forward to 11800 levels now which is going to be the first resistance level and 11840. Once it trades beyond 11840 you can expect a further rise which is going to take it for 11950 and 12000 levels again. On the downside once it trades below 11660 rather I will say once it trades below 11710 you can sell and then expect 11660, 11640 and then 11620, levels below that a good crash for 11550 and 11500 can be seen till the time it trades above 11400 I will not consider this as bearish that is for sure. Directional moment bullish, stochastic overbought, MACD bullish, RSI overbought on the early charts and if you look at the two hours. On the 2 hour charts to see this was the stronger resistance zone 11.710 and certainly it is breezed 11.710 trying to trade bullish. Once it trades below this zone at 11.660 then only further bearishness to be seen. Yes you can sell at 11.710 expect 11.680, 6.60, 6.20 and then below that further drop for 5.50 and plus plus levels. Right now it is looking forward to 11.800 which it may achieve before it looks forward to any further drop and specifically I will look forward to this zone. That is 11,800,840. Once it trades beyond 11,840, further bullishness for 11,950, 12,000 levels to be seen there. Directional movement bullish, stochastic overbought, MACD divergent and bullish here. And if RSI, the RSI is trying to enter into overbought zone right now, it is it is trading with a bullish bias here. And if you look at the 3 hour charts, now look at the 3 hour charts. On the 3 hour charts, see accelerated bullish movement and only bearishness is. Yes, See first it has to break past 11.710 then 11.660 then 11.620 and 600 and then 11.550 level. Once it trades below 11.550 consider that for a bearish breakout and then it is going to crash heavily till towards 11.400. Till the time it trades above 11400 chances for it to reverse exist. Now see this is the zone which it is looking at that is 11800, Beyond this certainly it is looking forward to 12,000 levels. So yes, these levels are still achievable. Directional movement, bullish here. A stochastic overbought here on the 3 hour charts, which indicates that there could be a break with the data and possibly a bounce back later. MACD divergent and bullish and the RSI is looking upwards. And if you look at the 4 hour charts, now look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts to see accelerated bullish movement. However, the resistance zone is this that is 11800840 if it breaks past this then directly it will land to 12000 levels so yes beyond 11840 certainly you can buy and remain long for 11950 12000 levels and beyond that further bullishness to be seen at the same time below 11700 there could be little bearishness which might take it to 11660 620 and 600 only below this zone at 11550 it is going to break heavily on the downside and consider that bearish if it trades below that 11550 still 11400 levels are certainly going to be a very strong support directional movement divergent and bullish stochastic over the MACD divergent and bullish rsi looking upwards and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts here on the daily charts see it has taken the support here in 11500 400 zone and with that as support it is trying to reverse 
Now see the candle for the day is green and it has left a stronger tail. Now see the previous movement almost from 11500 to 700 levels, 200 points. Now from 700 to at least 12,000 increasingly bullish candle can be seen. Possibly we may see 11,950, 12,000 levels if it continues to trade above 11,840 stay long and possibility for it to trade bullish from here exists. However, look at the MACD, the directional movement is trying to converge crossover for a bullish move. Stochastic is looking upwards. And if you look at the MACD, this is trying to converge crossover for the bullish move. RSI is looking upwards. Considering this only sell position, today I'll recommend it as 11.710. However, till 11.400, do not consider this as bearish. Yes, there could be a potential reversal any point of time. The targets on the downside below 11.710 is 11.680, 660, then 11.620, 11.580. And 11,550 only below 11,550 you can expect further drop which might bring it to 11,500, 450, 400. Till that time you have to keep closing at the targets and keep re-entering if you see in this trading in the same direction. And yes trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. On the upside you can buy at 11,840. You can expect it to rise more once it trades beyond 11,840. My next target is 11,889, 20 and then 11,970, 12,000 levels. Beyond 12,000, it is going to trade further bullish for 12,120 and then beyond that, we may see it hitting 12,240, 12,400 levels. If not today, possibly by weekend with the Fed's interest rate hike decision, it may trade bullish. But at the same time, as I said, you have to ensure that you are safe with the swings and hence you have to trade with the trailing stop loss, trade with the strict stop loss at cost or keep closing at the targets. Now, let's have a look at Dow Jones. See US 30 first stop was at 33800 if you recall my yesterday's analysis I had told you couple of points 33700 if it breaks it is going to hit 33800 beyond 33800 the target is 34000 then 34200 all the targets since yesterday have been achieved now see this 33800 first pitch stop was there the next pitch stop if you see see this it is consolidated here and since then it has shown a breakout so 34000 33950 only and only if you see it trading below 33,950, expect that we are looking at 33,800 and below 33,800, we may see a further crash. So till the time it trades above 33,950, I will not recommend you to sell Dow Jones till the time. Uh, if you see it at 33,950, 34,000 again, you can buy from there and still remain long. Now look at the early charts, it is certainly given a breakout, it is trying to trade bullish and possibility for it to achieve 34,400 levels exist. If it sustains above 34,200, certainly my target is 34,400, 500 levels. Directional movement divergent and bullish, stochastic again to overbought levels on the early charts. And if you look at the MACD divergent and bullish, RSI is extremely overbought and hence a little cooling, little drop with the uh, data may come. We may see a little drop, but you have to remain cautious on the downside. There are support. Look at the two RHRs, taking the support at 33,950. It has taken a good swing. First bullish candle. Now, second bullish candle when it arrives, 34,400 levels to be seen. And possibility for it to see 34,400 is the very good resistance level. And then 34,600 levels beyond that. Anyways, it is going to fly high for 35,000, 35,500. If not today, possibly by this week or maybe by this month. Yes, you will see it hitting highs there. Directional movement, extremely bullish. Stochastic again overbought. MACD is divergent and bullish and it still got some room for it to rise. The RSI is overbought. And if you look at the 3R charts, on the 3R charts, the observation is simple and similar. 34,000, 34,000, 34,400, 34,400. So yes, these stops are taken. It is looking at this stop and see 33,800, 33,800 and 33,800 breaking past which it is directly lended to the next stop. So possibly right now it is looking forward to 34,400 levels. If it continues to trade above 34,200, sustains 34,200, expect that we are looking for 34,400 and plus plus levels. Directional movement divergent and bullish stochastic is overbought and hence a little bit of cooling is expected. Little bit of drop is expected. The MACD is divergent and bullish, RSI overbought. And if you look at the 4 hour charts, on the 4 hour charts, see, one thing is certain here, 33,950 should provide, 34,000 should provide now a very, very strong support and 34,400 is going to be the next stronger milestone and a stronger resistance zone. Now also look at the 4 hour charts here, see, after a bit of consolidation, it has seen the 
first stronger breakout candle and possibility for it to give you second candles also exist a little retracement till towards 33950 but do not worry till then till the time because see, below 33,950, there is a possibility that we may see it hitting 33,900, 33,800 levels, which is a very strong support levels. And above 34,200, certainly it is going to fly high for 33,400 levels. It is still bullish on the directional movement. The stock stick is extremely overbought and possibility for it to drop from here exists and hence a little retracement can be expected. MACD, divergent and bullish here. RSI is near to overbought levels. And if you look at the daily charts, on the daily charts, you can see that the candle has taken a shape and this is green in color. And yes, after stabilizing here, for 33,500, we have seen this good move. In just one candle, it is achieved 34,000. In the next candle, possibly we may see 34,400, 34,500. And in fact, it can fly high till towards this zone some point in time, if not today, possibly by tomorrow we or day, uh, in this week, we may see it hitting 35,000 plus plus levels also. Directional movement divergent and bullish. Stock stick was oversold, now looking upwards. And if you look at the MACD, this is trying to converge crossover for the bullish move and RSI is looking upwards. Considering this for the day, see only sell entry I will recommend is below 33,950 levels. And then you can expect 33,900, 33,800 as the major support. Below that, you can expect 33,700 as the first target. And then below that, further drop for 33,550, 500 can be seen. Till the time it trades above 33,400, I will not consider this bearish. I have repeated this last week. I have repeated it in my weekly analysis and I am repeating it again. Till the time it trades above 33,400, I will not consider this as bearish. At the same time on the upside, 34,200 if it sustains you can expect 34,400 as the target and then beyond that it is going to directly hit 34,600 and then beyond that 35,000 in this week or this month itself is probable you can stay long above 34,500, 600 zone and it is not going to drop from there this time it is going to sustain the bullish momentum. Take your positions accordingly, trade with the stop loss, trade with the trading stop loss, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much, have a great profitable trading day ahead, thank you.